Good afternoon and welcome to the Golf Bike Online product testing. This afternoon looking at the brand new tight list CB712 iron. Uh, brand new range for the 2012 season. Straight away looking at the club, in the CB and MB range they've changed the finish. Most of the tall boys got the satin finish and that's what they've gone with. Uh, it gives a more of a tall design, a nicer look, it's, it's a duller sort of finish. So the satin finish just from feedback from better players and from the tour professionals and their leading pros, they decided to change it. So if you look here, straight away, you can see the finish is completely different and duller than last year's chrome. Clubs come from two to pitch and wedge, so you've got the, the added option of the two iron. Uh, only the two iron, the only two iron that's available throughout the type this range is in the CB712. Um, what, what you've basically got with, with the CB forged here is you've got the shallow cavity there and that's going to just help you with shot, shot shaping. It's you know, minimal offset club so it's going to be very very playable. Um, but what they've also done is they've made it a wider and fuller sole and what that basically helps with is for people who tend to hit the ball very hard. So people who are aggressive through the turf, people who you know hit the ball very hard and take very aggressive divot then they've specifically designed the club around that type of golfer in order for better players to benefit from it so straight away you've got the nicer looking feel nicer looking head excuse me uh, obviously the, the feel goes without saying it's just a very very soft club so it's going to give you good feel uh, the look of the club completely different from last year so that's obviously straight away noticeable when the clubs at a dress Good feel off impact, you know what you'd expect from a Titleist Forge clubs are obviously with them being very very popular and established in making this type of club. The difference between this year and last year looks wise is you know there to see. I've got the 2010-11 version, the 710. Straight away you can see the difference between the two. A lot shinier, glary finish on the 710 and the duller satin finish on the 712s. They've squared it off slightly, I don't know if you can see the difference between the head there but just squared it off slightly here. Um, but not an awful lot between the back of it looks wise but inside the head obviously they have amended things. If we look on the Trackman system at the difference between the two, obviously a very playable club. So you're not going to be expecting more distance from this year, it's, it's more down to the look and the feel. So if we just set up, this is the 712, the 2012 version. Nicer looking at address. Mid to low launch. Very, very safe ball flight, you know. It's going to be very good for someone who's looking for good distance control between the clubs. Nice feel. And uh, the distance coming up there at 165 carry 169 in total. Um, if we hit another one just to look at the sort of consistency of the distance. Obviously going to be a lot different than the longer irons, you know the AP1, AP2 a lot more forgiving so you need to be hitting this out of the middle, you will lose a little bit of distance if it's off center but generally designed more playable for a better golfer. It's similar, 162 and 166 in total. So you know not the longest hitting club but feel wise great. And if we bring in the 710, last year's one, obviously completely different look. New one probably looks a little bit more a little bit more compact in the head. Uh, than the 710 but the uh, the finish is is completely different you know this is a lot shinier obviously with the sun this would glare at you slightly distance wise one 162 166 in total so 162 carry 166 in total not an awful lot in it as you would expect you know there's not there's not going to be that much more distance if any with the new club it's just going to obviously be the newer design nicer look 
you know, more tall looking head. 710 again. Similar reading, 164, 167 in total. So there's not an awful lot between it. It's just obviously down to the individual how far you'd normally hit it. You're not going to be looking at gaining an awful lot more distance with the CB club than you will be from the 710. But fantastic look, fantastic new design by Titleist, and it's very exciting and it's going to be very, very popular. Any queries, please contact us at shop at golfbyonline.com. Thank you very much for watching.